Okay, previously from uh, Volupta, I went into the VBA portal and uh, got some code for Cox Ross Rubenstein. You might have a look at that code. So basically, it's uh, the Cox Ross Rubenstein uh, approach to estimating the value of options uh, is based on the same theory as Black Scholes. But uh, the option valuation is set up in a binomial tree, and we estimate values for U and D and for P. Um, so, in what follows here, I'm going to use this uh, code to estimate uh, the value of um, the option. So, the value of the value of the um, black Scholes equivalent um, using these parameter inputs and then I'm going to verify I get the same results with a reasonable number of steps in the tree and then I'm going to take a look at the black model and see how we can represent the black model uh, in a binomial tree so okay so first of all let's take these values here and just copy and come into the cox ross rubenstein worksheet and i'm just going to paste and i think i have everything okay I've pasted in all the cell references so we have the values first thing to note is um in our model here we have neglected uh, to put in a reference for dividend yield. So while, and I have to be careful here, the RF here denotes R, actually. And I'm looking for, if you like, a value like Q. Okay, so we need either RF or Q. Okay, so I'll put Q or RF. Okay and we don't have this here and it's not in it's not in the code right so when we look through here we've no entry for dividend yield at all okay but it's a relatively a straightforward task to incorporate in a dividend yield into the crr tree so i'm going to call this crr tree q and then I'm going to introduce a value uh, parameter input here, uh, Q, probably beside um, the risk-free rate. Okay, so what we need is uh, a dividend yield. And for a binomial model, typically, uh, if we didn't have a dividend yield, we would neglect to put in a Q. So if you like, uh, the risk neutral probability that we typically estimate uh, using uh, E, R, T, negative D over U minus D, we need to incorporate in a negative Q. But that's all we need to do. So for instance, here we have R negative Q minus D, so I need to put in a negative Q. Okay, so this is just another example that I've used. I'm not going to focus on it. All I really want is how do we adjust P to take account of dividend yield. So we put in a negative Q. Okay, so I go back into Excel spreadsheet and I make one little change. And it's only one change. I change this to negative Q. Still being multiplied by uh, DT. So if we go back and we check e negative r e uh, to the power of r negative q by t negative d the t here is the time step okay so i'm back in and we've put in negative q and i should put a q here um and i'm just going to read uh, RF here is R. Okay, so um, let's see if we can get this thing to run. Last change here is change this to Q to be consistent with the function name. 
okay and I'll take the function I'll copy go back into the spreadsheet and I'll paste the function name down here so home paste and of course this is no longer working so I'm going to put in a value here in fact just to see that it works put in zero and change this to Q and note that the spot so one two three four five so five in one two three four five one two three four fifth one two three four so here I must put in a value for Q okay and when I run this it should be close to 1045 okay let's put this up to a thousand steps let's go okay I'm gonna go 2000 steps here and I should get a value of 1045 approximately okay and that's gonna take a little while so I'm gonna pause okay so we're getting a value of 10.449 I'm going to try 5,000 steps here it might crash sometimes it does I'm going to return and I'm going to pause so I've obtained a value and it's taken about two minutes um, just looking at the clock here and um, it's 10.45 now let's change this back to 50 or 500 and that's relatively fast and I'll adjust the values here to reflect what's over here so the values here I'll introduce over here 0 5 2 um, k is equal to 0 0.5 I'm going to take r well the time period is eight months so I'll just fill those in I'll pause and fill in so I filled in I put in five steps and the value here of it is a call the value of the call is a little bit out of sync so we change this to we'll go 2000 and I'll pause and again I'm out of sync and that's because um, I've put this should be 0 4 and the other value 0 0.08 and I'm getting a little closer and again I'll raise the number of iter steps in the tree to 2000 and return and that's going to take a little while so I'll pause and I'm getting a value here not too dissimilar to the value of the call here if I change this to P for European and return I get a value also relatively consistent with uh, the Black Schultz model so these models are relatively good so this is a CR CRR tree Cox Ross Rubenstein tree now uh, thing to note um, when we're applying Cox Ross Rubenstein to um, and de developing a Cox Ross Rubenstein tree for um, the black model um, we should note that uh, some of the inputs would change and to take that into account um, we might have a look at the following set of slides so I've done a derivation of um, how the, the how a delta hedging type framework might be preserved in a binomial type tree using uh, future values and uh, basically uh, the value the risk neutral probability probability is no longer ERT negative D over U minus D but actually given like this okay so that would imply that when we're constructing um, a Cox Ross Rubenstein framework for the black model we should use this so instead of uh, P being equal to E negative R T minus D over U minus D now I use I put in one okay so let's try that but it means okay so we've got to go back into our, our Cox Ross Rubenstein tree let's copy our code right and we'll go back and we'll have a look at the project explorer and I'll insert a new module so insert 
module and then I'll paste and I'll have to change a little bit of the name so this is going to change to F for futures and I'll change this also to F and all the spots will have to change to F but here I will change it becomes P becomes 1 minus D So P is 1 minus D, just to verify that. P is equal to 1 minus D over U minus D. Okay, and I'll change all the references to spot to F. So we start with, I'll say F. And I'll come down and look for additional references to spot which I don't think I have. And in addition, I can remove the reference to Q. Okay, so we're back to F, K, T, R, volatility, N. Let's just copy that. So that's a new function. And the function's name given here is consistent with what I have beneath. So F, CRR3, F. CRR3F. Okay, so let's copy the function's name. Copy and go back into um, our spreadsheet for a moment. And I think I'll put that here. I'll just have it pasted. And I'll pause. Okay, so that's gone in. And I'm going to change this back to 20 because it's slowing down uh, this the worksheet. Um, I go back to the uh, black model and I take my values and copy and I'll paste besides. So home paste. And it's still giving the same values as before. So that's fine. And what I need to verify now is that if I set up the Cox Ross Rubenstein tree, I get the same value. So I'll, I'll do that now. Okay, so I filled in the, the gaps and I specified the option type and well, the option type and also the exercise uh, uh, American, American or European. So uh, the futures, so let's we'll just fill in futures as before, like the black model K 5% time period 8 months, risk fee rate in the local currency. Volatility, thickness 12, number of steps in the tree, I'm keeping low initially. Option type, we're setting out as a put. And then the expiry type, is it European or American here? It's East for European. And I hit return. And I get a value not too far off, um, 162. So let's... Um, increase the number of steps here to 2000 and pause okay and it looks rel relatively close it's uh, consistent with the put value that we have here if I change it to C for call so let's let's goodness yeah. rose and change this to C for call it's going to take a second and you can see we're getting the same valuation as 22374. Okay, so this uh, this is a Cox Ross Rubenstein tree. It's been developed specifically to duplicate uh, the black model or to try to replicate as much as possible the black model. The change, the major change that I introduced in the code was instead of E negative. RT or should be E uh, positive R negative QT we just put one that's the major change and there, so by changing the risk neutral probability we can adopt the Cox Ross Rubenstein model to take account of future prices the advantage of this approach here is that we could use change E to A and we get an American option